Hello YouTube. I haven't made a video for the um, video for the server in quite a long time. Um, so I did so I can explain some of the new plans for Terraville and uh, the city structure and the way it's gonna uh, work. Excuse me that this video is probably gonna be pretty horrible and I'm probably sound pretty dumb right now. I don't have anything configured. It's kind of a me just trying to make this video upload to YouTube faster, so it's not really going to have any special little songs and stuff that always sound nice and good, but oh well, you can deal with it. Well, uh, right now we're at spawn. It's, oh, I think it's probably the best spawn we have right now. I think four of us built it or so, and I guess right now I'm just going to discuss some of the changes that are going to be made to the server. We're going to... I don't really know what type of, I guess you could say, genre of server we were. We were not creative before, we were not survival before, and we were not complete vanilla. And, um, it was a big mix, which is nice, but since we have such an amazing community, I want to pull it all together and make one town so, you know, we're all together and, uh, can actually see somebody while walking past. I, I you know, I can just talk to somebody on Palringo just as easily as on here, but the good thing about Minecraft is you can actually see who you're talking to. So I think we're going to utilize that and um, make this one big city so that we can just be closer. And um, we're going to have a lot of realistic features such as everyone can choose a job. You don't have to have a job, but I would recommend if you want to have any nice houses or make shops or be able to get a lot of materials without having to cut down trees, I would recommend having some form of job and the way jobs will work is say I wanted to be a woodcutter I could be a you know go cut down for each week I'd have to go cut down a certain amount of logs say like I don't know five stacks of logs <laughs> of course that's not a realistic number but you can make your own number based on and you just get more money if you make more logs but um when you collect your logs at the end of the week what you'll do is you'll just come here to the job and stock exchange building. This is at past the bank, right here, almost at the end of the, uh, I need a name for this island. I'll probably call it Capital Island or something because most of the buildings here look similar to, I guess you can say, Washington DC type buildings. And I think this will be our capital area. Um, so like I said, after you collect your, uh, materials will come into the jo job and exchange building and um, say you were a woodcutter you would come here to the wood products area and these doors will be locked to only people who have the job of a woodcutter so you can't just come in and steal the stuff and if you do any will just ban you get you know plug in to stop that and uh, boohoo for you if you do that but um you know, just come and put your stuff in and leave at the end of the week and you'd get paid because there's a, there's a plugin that allows for paying of a certain amount of salary each uh, at a certain interval of time. But um, and then we'll have to have somebody who takes the job of collecting all the products and all the chests and bringing them. And, and the whole point of this system is, uh, for a while I've been thinking about how to make a successful economy in Minecraft. Because uh, in the real world, money is based on gold. And before our money was based on nothing in Terraville, so it was very unstable. <sighs> These stupid Endermen. Oh well, I'll fix that later. But um it was based on really nothing and I want to give it some sense of something to actually work for, a reason to have money. Not not because I want to charge people taxes, but I want people to be able to have, you know, a reason to do a job and make money. So anyways, as I was saying, after you put all the stuff at the end of the week, somebody will have the job of coming in and collecting all the materials out of the, every single chest, and then bringing it across the street over here to the bank. And the reason people are actually collecting these materials and making money off of them is because I'm trying to make most things at the server legit. Obviously this isn't right now, and for starting up it won't be. But the government will be able to, well I guess, quote government, that actually means the admins and government will have its own amount of money, but uh, the person will have, the person who went and collected all the materials will come here to the government safe, and will place 
And these are super locked with bedrock and crap anywhere around it, so you're not gonna get in. And if you do, then I will ban you. Like, my this this won't just be a ban hammer. This will be like a. I don't. Even, I can't even think of a word. It'd be so bad. But anyway, you just put the uh, stuff in the government chest and leave, and you get paid for doing that. So um, that's the fundamentals of how the economy will work. And someday, once we grow, we can. I'll just go to spawn. Once we grow, we can get um more something almost like of a, a stock exchange thing going. You can, because certain companies will be able to uh, take money from government banks and, I mean, not money, uh, materials from government banks, and you can almost invest in like a stock market type thing. So, and obviously you don't have to do any of these things. It, it's just something fun to do, and as I know most of you know, the um, city layout will be based quite a bit off of money, so I'll just go along about the city layout right now. I know a couple people are asking me to what it's like, and I can't un really explain it while, um, uh, stupid nighttime. I love nighttime, but anyways, I can't really explain it through chat, so I'm, that's why one of the biggest reasons I'm making this video. So, as we have here, we have spawn coming to, in this island right here, this island is dedicated to only government buildings, banks, um, stock market place. I don't know what this is. Somebody's making it, but we'll use it for something important. Uh, it's just an example for something. And then um, we'll have post office and certain things like that. And you can buy and this little park, call it Eden Park, and you can um, buy chests in the post office, and we'll put mail, aka uh, just just different little free materials and random stuff. And uh, I think it'd be pretty cool. But so this section is dedicated to only government um, buildings. This island. Um, except for obviously the courtroom. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to have a bridge somewhere across this river. I'm thinking probably somewhere in the middle since this building right here will not be there forever. It'll be in the um, low income housing, aka economy housing. We'll have a bridge probably about right here somewhere where you can go across to the civilian district, I call it. So um, the way this is going to work is we're going to have, just follow my cursor here, um, in the front we're going to have the high income housing, meaning you don't have to have a high income, but the lots and stuff, or the pre-made houses, will be pretty expensive, and um, well, very expensive, since this is high income housing, mainly for, I guess you can say admins, mods, architects, people who probably have, make a lot of um, terrace. And then, um, so we'll have a long block of that, follow my cursor, along here, and across, like that, all the way over there. And we'll probably have, keep some space in the middle, just in case we need more in the future. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have roads going all around it like this in a circle. I will make the roads mainly because I know the uh, way I want it to work with minecarts and such. And um, so I'm going to create the roads. And I, I'm, I'll be in charge of making the um, high income housing area, the entire part of it, mainly because I have a very good design for it. And, you know. But um, so after we have this area, this block of high income housing, we're going to have a little small gap. And then we're gonna have middle income housing. And the way the reason I'm setting this all up like this is because the high inc income housing will be closer to spawn in the government buildings. So therefore, that gives actual property value to that area. And then we're gonna have middle income here. The, the plots, they, I'm not, they're not gonna be generally any worse or smaller, but they will be. I guess you can say, um, well, they'll be less expensive than the high income, but more expensive than the, the low. Most most people will be able to afford the, this area. And it, it's a little closer to this area than um, the low income housing will be. I just noticed there's this water on the other side over there. We'll probably make a nice little port over here. But um, I guess over this way, yeah, this, is, this looks good. In this area, we will have the low income housing. And I don't want to be in charge of it whoever wants to do that can do it <laughs> um i have to be like say i, I think you boffing would be good at 
making this work here, and I think Kieran was already starting apartments and such, but this area will be dedicated to that, and uh, it'll obviously have to be flattened a little bit. Oh, look, a house. That's not really supposed to be there, but I'll, I'll be nice and allow it since nobody knew. But, um, I don't want this area to be super fancy, but I want it to be nice. I don't want to, you know, it'll be mainly for new members, and just because they're new members, I don't feel the, that they should deserve not to have a nice area, just lower prices, and that's all it'll really be. And the only um, bad thing about it is that you're a little farther away. And uh, we're getting rid of a lot of warps. We're, we will probably have a couple warps, but, you know, we will have a couple warps to areas that are not in walking or, quote, driving distance, a.k.a. minecart. But, um, they will be, it, it'll be a little farther of a way to get there. But, um, It'll still be nice. This is good terrain anyway. Uh, so that's the way the city is going to work out. And so I know you, Boffin, went to um, help lay out city streets and such. And one thing you can do is just follow my cursor. This area will have to be... There will have to be a road here that will cross this... Uh, yeah, across this area right here in this river into the low-income housing. And I'll need you to set up some form of block type system to um make it you know a, a road system and build some pre-made housing around it so um i'll need you to do that and then i'll need somebody else to work on the middle income area while i do the high income area i'll make this block 